Hey everybody, let's draw feet. Okay, just to let you guys know, if you guys are watching this on IGTV, here's my YouTube so you guys can find me there. Um, I'm usually on Instagram most of the cases, but you, I'm also on YouTube. Um, it's my secondary place where I go. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, here's my Instagram so you can see my IGTV. <laughs> depending on what you guys use that is uh, better so I'm just trying to cater both platforms on this situation until I see which one is best for the tutorials I'm still trying to figure that out just to let you guys know I'm not doing any reference sheets on Instagram at all till the 30th of this month because it is Inktober and I hope you guys are out there trying to get your art skills up I know there's been some uh, issues surrounding this particular subject, but it is okay. You can do the official one, or you guys can just make up your own. You don't have to follow the official one. I'm following the official one because I didn't have time to actually make up a prompt for myself or just think of random things to get things done. I already have things that are ready to go for Inktober for the prompt. So if you guys are interested in that, I already put up my first one um, and uh, I think my second one will be out after this video or the third one, I'm not sure. So with that said, let's get into it. All right, so number one thing is this, uh, is the feet is not that hard compared to the hands or anything else because the feet is not really all that dramatic on, depending on what you're trying to do with them. On like hands, hands are more our uh, intricate type of issue because uh, there's more moving parts in that, like just in the fingers itself to the thumb to the hand and stuff like that. Because with the hand, you can just draw a hand pretty much. You can draw a hand's palm and still figure out it's a it's a hand in some some form, right? But with a foot, it's a lot different because it's basically just breaked up shapes, just like four to five sections of shapes which are really easy to do. So we're, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do like five or four uh, positions just to show you guys the forms because that's really important to know, know your forms. I mentioned this in the last video, so let's get to it. So we're gonna draw a foot um, frontwards. So first we're gonna do, I'm gonna make this dark as possible so you guys can see it because I think last time it was a lot harder to see. Uh, I'm gonna make this even yeah, I think that's a lost file. Okay, so we're going to uh, first make um, uh, like this, hopefully like square this, All right? Then make this curve. Make sure this is a curve a little bit. Uh, actually, no, we're gonna go in the opposite direction. So, because I'm using reference, so nothing's wrong with using reference. People, it's not cheating if you're using reference. It's cheating when you trace someone's work and then it off as your own that's cheating in my book that's cheating nothing's wrong with tracing if you're trying to learn but if you're trying to trace and present as your work then that's a problem that's a big difference because I know there's some people who claim they learn from drawing from tracing but don't trace something and then call it yours as if you put like hours of work in it and then call it yours when it was someone else's that's not cool um, that's just a big no-no in the art community. Just don't do that, guys. It doesn't matter what community you're from. Just don't do that. That's just plagiarizing. Don't do that. So the point is, you make a blob here. Nice and round blob. Make sure that it sticks out so it has that 3D sense that it's being layered. I know it's kind of rough to see it because I'm making it like very rough. So you guys don't have to worry about uh, looking perfect because that's not the point here. And then we're going to make this this ankle piece of the ankle that okay and then we're gonna put this here what this shows is the bone well not the bone but like the angle bone it's the ankle like that right and then since we broke it down like that let me erase this part erase this okay now like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make these look like toes. I think the number one thing when it comes to drawing toes, it's not that hard as you may think. 
um, it's just about how you can make them into your form so like for instance let's make this like that and then we make a circle like that and then like that that and like that okay actually better yet we can put it like uh we don't have to we can make a little bit of a space so we have more uh room here so we're gonna push this over here a little bit right about there you don't have to be a giant space don't make a two space then it's gonna look weird but you can put a space if you want i don't think that's big that's a big deal so because this is just a rough understanding what this is now i'm going to erase uh this Oh, better yet, I'm go what I'm going to do is keep this the construction here and then put it in a folder. Oh, why is there all these folders open? I oh, don't know why I have all these folders. Okay, so delete those. Those are not important. Don't don't look, worry about these. I don't know why those are even there. So I'm going to open this. Make this a little... Yeah. And then I'm going to retrace this. And what we're going to do... Uh, uh, then we're going to, oops, 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 I messed up a little bit. I connect. I'm gonna click connect. Make sure that there's room here, and then because what you're trying to do is make this easy on you to see what you're supposed to be looking at. All right, and then to make this have more depth, you have to put sure you put the the toes, uh, the toenails there, so it has that. Okay, I'm seeing the toenails. I'm pretty sure you can see it now. And that. And then make sure it's connected like that. Oops. I know this looks kind of ugly right now, but like, just bear with me on this. I don't mean to make this longer than it's supposed to be. I'm gonna move a lot faster. Uh, and then like that. I know this is not supposed to look perfect, but we're just trying to get a rude sense of what this is. And then we'll move to the next uh, position. Now that'll be probably more easier for you guys. But like, this is more like a foreshortening type of thing. Because you need to practice those. And then. a little bit more closer and fix this that okay okay and then you make the I know it looks like a rude sense of what it's supposed to look like, but like that's the overall how. But um, this only looks as bad as it does because I didn't put enough form um, uh, form uh, understanding on it. So like uh, more like something like this, like that, like the spiral method I taught you guys. Like make sure to use that method if it makes it easier for you guys to see the 3D sense of it, because that usually does help most people with the 
the the the idea of it all okay 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 like that see now it looks a little more better than the toe and just it being how it does uh okay now we're gonna make this like this okay now i'm gonna move to the next one see how when you use construction lights it looks more like a toe see that because that teaches you how to use your shapes that's the overall understanding if you understand your shapes and your forms you won't have much of a problem. This also goes for hands as well. If you guys don't understand. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Put this in here. Um, just to let you guys know, you know how my videos go. I go, I do like the tutorial first, and then I'll do my own uh, feet drawings. And then you guys can watch that if you want. Now we're gonna watch from sideways. So this one should be more easier than foreshortening. Uh, first, you have to make sure that, like overall, I think you should make a triangle first to make this easier. Because that's pretty much what a foot is from sideways is like pretty much a triangle, like a slanted triangle. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to break this into shapes. I made it very basic, to be honest, in my opinion. So I'm going to bring this down. Oops, I'm going to bring this down in opacity. Then I'm going to do it again, but this time I'm going to put more curvature to it. Okay. Like that, right? And then a little bit, not too much of a hump, but you gotta put a bit of a hump. And then like that. Okay. Okay, like that. I go over this, this section, so you guys can understand the sections that are there. Like that. And then we curve in like this. Because that, that's what it is. It gives that 3D sense. Now it looks more like a shoe than anything, but that's fine. That's the overall what we need to make this look more like a foot, believe it or not. I'm trying to make this a little bit more. Okay, and then we're gonna go with this. I'm gonna once again lower the opacity again. I'm gonna take this away, lower the opacity by that much. All right, now what we can do is now we're going to, oops, we're going to Because the toe is on this side so we're not going to be seeing the toe here and because the toe is on this side it makes it easier to actually draw it because you don't have to be, make it too big you could just have to make, indicate that it's just there pretty much and then you put one two three four and then pretty much it. I know this doesn't look perfect, but that's the point I'm trying to get to you guys. 
right now. I know it doesn't look like perfect, but... Right, and then what we do is make this a little bit more out there like that. And then uh, we're going to make this like that. Actually, no, 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 not like that. Like, yeah. And we're going to make it. Pretty much how you do it. Like you guys will figure this out in time. I'm just trying to do this as fast as possible. That's why it looks all messy. Because I don't want to make this longer than it is than last time. And no one wanted to watch no video that was longer than it was supposed to be. Then it didn't need to. It really didn't need to to be as long as it did. That's why I'm just giving you a rough sense of what a foot looks like, or at least get a rough sense of how to construct one. Um, I think the angle's a little bit, oh wait, yeah, I'm gonna fix that. One, one part here, one part here. The foot looks a bit off because I didn't put the indent. Okay, now put, there we go. A lot better than before. It's not a straight on thing, it's usually an indent within itself. Okay, we're going to the next one. Uh, I don't know I'm gonna do, th I'm gonna probably do just four. I'm not gonna do five, I'm gonna do four. Because it's gonna take too long to get to that point, or just three, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to draw a foot from bottom to top. So we're going to look at the bottom of the foot. Because if you guys want to look at any more foot references, I have a bunch of them on my Instagram. So you can always look there. So just coming here for more better detailed stuff. I even have breakdowns of them on Instagram. So you make a foot like this. Make sure this is an indent here. All right. And then oops, that actually no no wrong like this make sure you put a line here right and then uh, what you should do is trying to make this work in my mind like that and then like that all right and then that what we're gonna do is put these lines here to indicate the bottom so we don't get lost all right then we're going to draw the ankle here and since we're looking from bottom to front, there's going to be indent here. That. And then. So it looks like more like a shoe for now, but it'll make sense. And hopefully I can make this look right. That's like a weird angle, but I'm going to turn it a little bit like this so I can have a better... It won't be breaking my neck. I think it's breaking my neck even when I'm not moving my neck. It's a it's a weird angle. It's a very weird angle. I'm not going to lie to you. Alright, so I'm going to bring down the opacity. Like this. This. Right, because it makes it easier to like make it make more sense out of it if I do it like that. Right, and then what I'm gonna do here is this, but this part is the actually this part is the actual foot, like the toes. So we're gonna show the toes here. Right, and then right, and then. One, two, three, four, and then the last one here. 
You see that? Makes it a little more easier. We're gonna take away this little piece here because we wanna indicate where the toe is. We're not wearing a sandals is the difference. We wanna show the toes. There we go. Right, and then we're going to go up here and then like this. And then we're going to bring this here. Show indication. Okay, let me go. Like that. And then we're going to bring this up here. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's just, I keep saying this, and I'm sorry guys, I know you're probably getting annoyed with me saying that, and I get it, but I'm trying to hit home to this, to, to those of you who are, may not listen to me on this, but it's not supposed to look perfect, especially if you're just learning, it's about just understanding and constructing. You got to... Um, you gotta deconstruct and reconstruct. So deconstruct it in such a rough way for you to understand. If you can do that, you can ultimately make it look better. I can make this look better if I wanted to, but since I don't have a lot of time and I already passed, I think, 20 minutes, I don't want to make this longer than it's supposed to be. I'm sorry for those of you who probably wants the long version. If you guys want the long version, please put that in the comments and I'll try to put like a faster version and then uh, a longer version of this I'll figure out something but like you guys gotta tell me um, I'm just doing what you guys voted and I just try to make it work by what I can provide on that note okay so we're, we're pretty much got it here uh, I think there should be a little bit more uh, curve here and then more of a straightness here I think um, there we go all right so I think that's fine you guys can indicate what this looks like it kind of looks like a sh a shoe it looks like a shoe with toes on it to be honest <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie it kind of looks like that it doesn't look like a totally a toe it looks like one of those uh those running shoes with the toes in it kind of ish type of stuff if you understand where I'm coming from. All right, so we got that out of the way. We got one, two, and three. I'll do one more and then call it a night. I didn't go into the whole breaking down of the shape shape because um, you guys can break down shapes after doing this. You can even trace this and then break down with shapes just to show that you guys can break it down. Because when you start breaking it down with shapes, it gets much easier to do these things. I'm just doing it as fast as possible so that you guys don't have to sit here for hours. We got one more to do. I was going to do five, but I think one more is perfectly fine. Now, let me see. We did frontwards. We did side. We did bottom. Uh, let's show one with the foot kind of stretching. So this is going to be a, a little bit of a dynamic pose, if anything. So we're going to draw the toe, the, the, the back of the front of the foot stretching in a sense. So we're going to bring this down, this, like this, just to let you guys know I'm using reference. So that's why I'm able to like start whatever <coughs> I want. And then just break it down as I'm going, as I'm looking at it, and then like that. And then I'm going to, because I've done this type of pose many times before, so it's not that big of a deal to me. In my opinion, I don't think I'm doing a bad job at it. I could be to some others who are watching this. I'm sorry for those who are more veteran than I am, but I think this is a rude elementary look of what that is. Uh, we don't need this right here, right? And then we pull this here, right? Okay. And then what we do is what this shows. Uh, ooh, 
Oop, no, no. We don't want it straight down. We want it like curved. We want it the curve in a sense. Not completely, but we don't want it to be curved completely either. It's just, it's, it's a weird thing. Now, I just did the overall shape. See, the, the, you know what the best way to actually learn your feet, I, feet or drawing feet, is um, learn how to draw socks. Because socks will make it much more easier. It's even a dumber down version of feet. Because there's no toes, really. The toes are like one. But if you know how to space um, the... The th if you can space the, 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 the toe from the other little feet, you pretty much got it. Because right now I just drew a sock. Now I'm going to bring down the opacity here. And then I'm going to pretty much just put in what I need. That doesn't look like a nail. It looks like a weird... I don't know what that was. Make sure I can zoom in on this. I want to make sure I... Okay, there we go. And then... Okay. Right, and then... foot like this. Like that. I know it's kind of hard to see the toenails and I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult to see it but I think I did a okay job on this in a sense all right so there you go uh, a little more yeah I know it's not perfect looking I get it I get it peoples you'll see a better better version of this not version but better uh, poses of feet once once you see the oops this looks kind of weird now that doesn't look like a it's no no this needs to be fixed this needs to be fixed this needs to be fixed you gotta get the autonomy right don't try like i understand i said try your best but don't try to not understand the, the anatomy as well try to understand it but try not to break your foot as much as possible don't do it you gotta just hurt yourself in the long run. Try to keep things as simple, but try to th keep things as accurate as possible. Because the more accurate you try to be, the better you will be in time. I know it's hard to believe that, because when you don't feel like you're progressing, you actually are progressing. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna just put some shell back here for it to have a bit more depth, I guess, in a sense. Uh, okay, so with that said, I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you guys so much. I know this was, I think, a little shorter than I thought. I could have did more with this. Oops, wait, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me fix this. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for coming in and watching my video. I hope you guys got something out of this. If not, let me know. If if you guys have any other recommendations, I, like I'll recommend other videos and 
uh, channels to you guys uh, who are a lot better than I am. I don't know them personally or anything. I do follow them, but like I'll put post some video, uh, not post, but I'll put in the description in dibbly doo in the bottom so you guys can like look for that. If this doesn't help you, at least you have a recommendation. Uh, I'll try my best. But with that said, thank you guys for coming in. I do appreciate you guys taking times out of your day just to look at my video or at least try to learn something from me. I hope it did help. I really am hoping that that happened. But if it didn't, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I try to do like three different things at once from just doing the ultimate drawing to using shapes, using even the opacity bring it down a little bit for those who are digital artists or those of you are using transparent paper to understand shapes and forms uh, I hope this helps in any way so I'm gonna give you guys my uh, speed uh, anatomy um, session in two seconds it's just I want to put these all in uh, order I think that's pretty much it so later guys I'm out and Keep frosty and remember it's Inktober month. It is Inktober month. Ink October e month. So get to drawing. Do your best. Look at the prompt if you want. I'll put it in the links in the descriptions if you guys don't know where to find it. All um and all that stuff. So I already put up my first one, my second one will be out, or my third one will be out by the time this video is out, so Whew, I gotta edit this. All right, later guys. <laughs> Our Tetris out, I'm out. <laughs> and vote for it, because I'm gonna put this after this comes out, I'm gonna put the poll so you guys can, you know, vote on Instagram and I'll see which one gets the most love. All right, later. Oh, and also here's my past self doing this or something. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the demonstration I have for you guys um, in the slow version. Uh, I don't know if you guys want a longer version or um, I might do live streams soon. So this might be a lot more engaging and more interactive in time. Uh, I don't know if you guys would like to see that. See that in the comments section and let me know. But uh, pretty much uh, most of this was geared around forms and how to per put your forms in certain perspective. Because if you can learn how to use ellipses and uh, cert use certain lines to make depth, you pretty much got it down when it comes to feet. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, unlike hands, hands is more a dynamic type of body part. Uh, it has more intricate um, like uh, bones and stuff going on. Not saying there isn't in the foot, but like compared to the hands, there's there's a lot more dynamicism there, if that's even a word. But the point is here that um, that I try to make it look as realistic as possible without going too far on to the like the anime way of looking at things. But uh, I think the forms here are okay, and I think that the anatomy is pretty close. Not that best because I did use reference, uh, try and look back and forth to see how fast I can do it because. I did this technique where you can time yourself and draw as fast as possible what gesture or what try and, uh, what type of shape you're trying to do and it actually does a lot of work for you like it does really work like you can see how fast you can get something done in a, a short amount of time to see how much less um, mistakes you can make unlike this one this more shortening one was terrible but you know it is what it is but I'm gonna keep doing that I might use that for Instagram to show you guys but with that said thank you guys so much for uh, taking time out of your day to see my stuff and it was awesome having you guys here. So have a great night everyone and have a great day and keep practicing